Yo, what's going on everybody? This is your boy Comrade Spike back again once again and today people today we are here for Comrade Revice episode 11. This was a Sakura episode. This was a hey, number one. We get this out of the way. The fighting in this episode was awesome. The fight choreography between the brothers and Vice. That chemistry is very, very, very awesome. We start off this episode with all of our writers just out here molly whopping dead men. Just out here taking out multiple dead men. This montage of the boys just winning. And I loved every freaking second of it. It was really, really good. And the most the main plot of this episode is Sakura coming to turn. Like basically trying to figure herself out and wanting to help and stuff like that. And seeing and, and you know, the whole premise of the episode is Sakura just feels powerless. She feels very powerless and she wants to help, you know, people. She wants to help people and but she's not effing with Phoenix with Phoenix. She's not effing with them because she feels like they're not doing anything. She feels like they're not really helping people. They're just out here killing the dead men and they think that that's all that's just going to help the people, but she feels like they're not helping the people that are really like in 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 you know real danger stuff like that. So she tries to take it upon herself to you know try her own ways of helping. And throughout this episode, she is like just having these mental, you know, battles inside of herself. And she, you know, she gets, you know, there's parts where she, her brothers, you know, Iki, the oldest brother, he, he, he's sympathizing and trying to empathize with her. But Daiji just ain't with it. Daiji just outright. You could tell, you could tell growing up who was the brother she got along with the best because her, because like, Daiji is all business. He's all business. And he's telling her stuff like, you know, leave the fighting and stuff to us. Like, you're not, you don't have the power. Yeah, you can fight regular people. But when it comes down to fighting these things that we fight every day, yeah, you're not beating these things, you know. And also, we have another little side plot going on with, there's um this one man who, basically, he runs like a secret, like, little society thing going on, talking about how humans and dead men can be, how humans, how he wants humans and dead men to actually team up together and create this perfect world that they, you know, we always got one of those guys, but then he, you know, becoming a part of this perfect world and teaming up with the dead men and stuff like that. And we see that, uh, the only dead man that really does anything in this episode are, uh, I can't, the one in the green, him, he's mostly talking to the guy that's, you know, the guy with the secret, with this little secret organization going on. And also we see our, Aguilera, yeah, her name's Aguilera. Yeah, Aguilera is she's the one that's going around and trying. She's scouting. You know, we see that. You know, the dead men they go out and they scout for people to become sacrifices. So she's scouting Sakura. She wants Sakura to join the dead men, and she, you know, because she knows like how Sakura feels about being powerless, and she knows that Sakura wants power and stuff like that. So she wants. She's scouting Sakura, trying to get her to join the um, trying to get her to join the dead men. So this guy basically he has, he has manipulated uh Sakura's um karate instructor her name is uh Psycho and Psycho is has teamed up with the dead men to basically she needs money for her son Rio and Rio has he has he has epilepsy he has like uh rapid seizures and she goes to the doctor and the doctor basically tells that he needs immediate um surgery or if he you know if he keeps having seizures like this then he's going to pass so when it comes down to it she teams up with the dead mess to try and get the money to uh just you know save Ryu, save rio so we are we're fighting this uh one this one dead man that we're fighting is a or monster dead man is a dead man that could basically uh, just uh regenerate it can regenerate and they're having a hard time fighting it because every time they do something to it it just regenerates so you know uh vice has to figures out that hey we have to destroy it we have to hit it we have to injure it faster than it can regenerate so they ended up defeating one of them but um 
the man who's part of this uh, secret society, he also taught. He also like he's. I think he. Yeah, he, he he's a doctor too. He's the doctor that uh, Psycho talked to, and Psycho, you know, he tells her. He tells her that as long as you do what I say, Rio is gonna live. So she tells him to go after this one man who is apparently the doctor, who is apparently the doctor that can um, save her son. So also in, in also in one scene we see that she's has she has her dead man oh i hit my mic she has she has this one dead man and this dead man is going on stealing basically stealing money from her uh basically not stealing money from a bank and she's giving her to steal this big big load of cash and uh sakura gets there and she's like instructor what are you doing and she's like i need the money right now and she's like for what and she's like it's none of your business and we see that psycho is just she's getting she's like how the other girl was uh, she's just full of this rage and she's trying everything she she could do to get the money for her son so she ends up finding this um she ends up finding the guy it turns out the guy it turns out um the man he lied to her this uh secret society guy he lied to her and telling her that this is the man that could save your son but turns out he's not this man is actually not even a doctor at all he's a photographer and when she finds this out, she gets even more pissed and she ends up uh, creating a full on contract with the demon, the, re uh, the regeneration demon that they destroyed earlier. But because of but because of the uh, doctor, this is his demon and he is able to mass produce um, the same demon over and over again. So that's why we see this demon multiple times after they destroy one. He's able to make another one. And he also he's also able to. Uh, He's also able to manipulate people into doing what he's, you know, doing what he asks them to do, tells them to do. So there's one scene where, you know, Sakura, she does end up getting hurt because uh, she does ever get punched in the face by her homeboy who is uh, in her karate classes with her. And she does end up talking to her family. Is talk She's talking to uh, her mom, Daiji and Iki. And they basically tell her that. You know, this isn't you no know, dice. He's going off on her, and he he basically tells her that this isn't fun and games. Yeah, you're a, you're a karate student, but that's not enough. You don't have the power that me and Iki have, and you should just stay home. Stop worried about what's going on and stay home. And she ends up uh, getting pissed off and she leaves. But also in the early in this episode, she gets a package, and the package that she gets is the um, is the driver. That she ends up getting and the vice stamp and the vice stamp is the cobra of vice stamp so she basically ends up taking that she ends up taking all of that and uh, no clothes or whatever she goes and she leaves the, she leaves home and when she leaves she's you know she's sitting by this uh riverfront and the um her homeboy that's you know in karate class with her he sees her he sees her there and for some reason we all know this family is sketchy from the last episode we saw them in. This family is very sketchy, and this family has some kind of hidden agenda. That, some kind of hidden agenda that, that they have going on, and they're just pretending to be this happy, this super happy, go friendly, loving family. So he ended up going to his house. He ended up going to his house, and you know, for some reason, every time Sokka is like really in trouble like that, he's always there. Like the son, he's like he's always there. And he always sees her wherever he is. Like, yeah, like this is the dead of night, dude. And she see he she's sitting by his riverfront, and he's just out there riding his bike. Like, what were you doing out here, bro? Like, what is they, something's happened that he's always there every time something happens with him. After every time, every time something happens with Sakura, so it's it's like it's almost like you know he's been watching Sakura and following her around and spying on her, maybe. <laughs> but foreshadowing. But um. Yeah, so I end up going back to the house, and going back to his house. Family greets her, all nice and whatever, and she ends up uh, seeing the driver and stuff like that. We see like this shadowy figure in the uh, window, and I don't know if this is her demon or that, or was that Aguilera? I don't know. Most like I think it was her own, like I think it was that her own personal demon that she had going on. But um, yeah, so it's the next day. We see that the uh, we go back to the. Uh, psycho finding out that the man she was you know told to go after was this was not a doctor she figures that out and when she figures that out she ends up creating a full contract with the regeneration demon and ends up using 
and ends up using it and becoming a full contract. And now she becomes a full uh, dead man. And it looks kind of weird. But it also looks kind of cool at the same time. The furry legs thing, I don't, I didn't like that part, but other, but the, the rest of it was actually pretty cool. And she's actually able to um, take parts of her limbs and make weapons and stuff out of them. Uh, it's a funny scene we see where Iki and um, Daiji and Vice are fighting her, and she ends up ripping off her arm and making a giant freaking spear out of it. And then like Vice is like, oh my, is like, is that your arm? Is that your arm? Did you use your arm? Oh my god, ew, ew. And every time she slashes at Vice, he's like, ew, get it away from me. <laughs> it was actually funny. Vice, is, Vice, is, Vice tickles me all the time. Um, but yeah, so they're fighting her and, they, and they're trying to beat her. But at the same time, we see um, we see uh, Sakura, she ends up coming there. She sees that, sees that all this fighting is going on. And she comes up and everybody's like, Sakura, what are you doing here? And Vice is like, what is that she has? And she is up putting her driver on, pressing the Cobra stamp, and ends up using it and trying to henshin, but it doesn't work. And then she tries it again, and it doesn't work. And then her belt rejects her. It rejects her, and it pushes her back. And then that's when Psycho, uh, in her demon form, tries to attack Sakura. And then that's when Iki jumps in the way, and he ends up getting hit. And she sees her brother fall, and she's like, why? Why did what happened? And also, I did feel like George is the one who sent her this driver, but we see, you know, they're watching this. You know, George and uh, George, Hiromi, and um, I forgot the. I, I haven't still haven't gotten the the uh, head of Phoenix's name. Him, but they're all watching this, and George has like a really confused look on his face. But it could be fake, because we all know that George is that kind of guy. It could be fake. But George is like, what? What is that? Where'd you get that from? And, yeah. And it turns out that's basically, and the episode basically ends off right there. But, yeah, man, it was, this episode was, a, was very rocky, especially when it comes down to Sakura. This is a whole origin story for her, for her becoming a common writer. Next episode, she will. It will work, and she will become a Kamen Rider. Her name is Kamen Rider Jean. So, yeah, and I love her color scheme. Doing the orange and blue and the black, like, really look good. And I don't know if she's gonna, is she gonna join the Dead Men's after this? Is she gonna, you know, be her own little thing by herself? Or is she gonna join her brothers? Um, But, yeah, that that's that's the thing. I don't, I don't know. But... You guys, let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think about this episode. What you think about the whole emotional thing that, uh, the whole emotional rocky stuff that Sakura is going through. What do you think she's going to do and say after, you know, when she becomes a writer? What do you think is going to happen to this, you know, secret society thing that's going on uh, with, you know, this guy trying to bring humans and dead men together? Um, also, how you, how you, I can't wait to see the fight between Aguilera and G and um and Sakura. I can't wait to see that. But other than that, guys, you guys let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think about this episode. Did you like it? Did you hate it? What's going on with you? I'll see you guys next time. Remember, stay henchened.